Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the beautiful outdoors. And today we are on day six of the ultimate Northern Manitoba walleye fishing tour. I'm pumped. This has been a lake I've been wanting to fish for a lot of years. I've never got here. It's definitely known to hold big walleyes, but it's not a guarantee either. So fingers crossed for us. We're on a streak of no 28 inches since day number one, but we definitely have potential here because we're on Tramping Lake. I'm so pumped. You can't see much of it here. I got a little bit of a long boat ride on the way out there to get there. So we're gonna get going, but thank you so much to Wacusco Falls Lodge for having me for a few days and being part of this tour. Hopefully I can go put a big walleye in a boat and make your place proud. Not like you need it. Brian catches so many 30 inch walleye already or all his guests do. So there's big walleyes up here at Wacusco. I did not give a good showing of the big fish at Wacusco in my last video, but I did catch a pile of fish. The population is strong and there are big ones around. They just eluded me yesterday and it wasn't only my first day out there. Same thing today. First time ever fishing this body of water. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but I've got the Starcraft already in the water up against the dock and we're gonna go make it happen. Let's do it. Tramping is mapped on Angler's Edge now, as you can see, but it's still shallow. So I have to take my time out to the lake and be careful. If you don't have a Lorance unit, you can download the map on your phone as well on the Advenza apps on uh, Apple or, or Android, wherever, it doesn't matter. You can get the app on either, either platform. I downloaded it and looked at all the spots last night that I might want to hit today. Had a little map talk with Brian, so there's no excuses today, Clayton. It's all you. Should we just send the boat down the waterfall? Where is it? Right there. Should we just send her? Full send? Oh, I'm getting gray. Clayton's getting old. What a life. Okay, we are definitely set up. I'm starting with a jig and a minna, and I also have a hyper rattle ready to go. We're gonna sharpshoot them basically. Maybe a little bit of cranking today. Not really, uh, I'm not really sure. We'll just, we'll just let, we'll just let it happen. We'll just let the day happen. Wherever the fish take me is what I'll do today. The jig and the minna bite's been hot for me. So it's hard to go away from that right now just because it's been that good. It's funny how the bite can change, right? And obviously through different lakes and different times and fish are in different moods. Like it's, you never know. Very adaptive, you have to be adaptive. Hmm. Well, first fish is small. It's a small one. Yep, little guy. Okay, well, we're on the board. Bot number two. Must be some fish down there. Decent size too, not huge I don't think, but dropping right to them. Okay, well, first drop on those fish. We scored, but like I said, I don't think they're very big. Smaller, yeah, smaller. We probably want to go back to that school then. Too small. Okay, maybe better. I got some better fish down there. Uh, I don't think so. Definitely have a little bit better fish down there. Maybe a little bit better. It's definitely it's bigger than what I've caught so far. That's for sure. I just don't know if it'll hit that 20 inch mark though. It'll be close. It'll be close. No, not quite. Not quite. Probably 18, 19. Well, no, it's bigger than I thought. 20 and three quarters. Or at least on the board with a 20 and three quarter. We definitely hope to get bigger by the end of the day. No doubt.
right on the bottom. Just let it fall and then let it sit there. Feels, feels decent. Not huge, but I'm thinking about the same size, a little bit bigger than the last one. About exactly that. I wonder if this is just gonna be an age class of this size of fish. There seemed to be a, some a little bit bigger there. 20 inches even. There we go, got that one's attention. Maybe a hyper rattle might be the ticket to get some fish going. This one feels decent. Maybe still not what I'm looking for, but it should be decent and enough to net. Ah, maybe not Clayton. Maybe just another 20 inch. Oh, Clayton, you just want it so bad, don't you? He's puking up minnows like crazy. Okay, 20 and a quarter. Well, it's good to see something eat an active bait though. So who knows, maybe uh, the hyper rattle will be the ticket yet. But we're sitting at three fish at just low 20s. We have a, definitely a good chance to hit our 100 inch goal, but we need, we need big ones yet. They want it right on the bottom tight. But again, not what we are after, but not a bad fish. On the bottom. It's the only place they want it right now. It's right on the bottom. And the jigging minnow is king again right now. Not bad, but not big enough. Definitely lots of walleyes here. Lots of walleyes here, that's for sure. Oh. Oh. Okay, if this fish isn't hooked funny, it's, it's nice. If this fish isn't hooked funny, it's a good one. Don't be hooked funny. Oh, it feels, ah, it feels like, I don't know. It, man, no, it just hooked funny. Oh, 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 just didn't feel like it had a head shake. It felt, boom, oh boy. I've handled thousands and thousands and thousands of fish. And that fish, I was holding differently when I was taking the hook out. Stuff can happen so quick. And I've handled so many fish. S silly Clayton. I wish I actually had some peroxide in the boat right now. I don't, but I'll peroxide it when I get home. But I have this Next Care Band-Aid tape. This is, uh, a good stuff to keep in your boat for sure. Cool. I knew when it happened, I'm like, uh oh. And the worst thing was I was holding it in a silly way. It was 100% my fault. Like, I should have known better. Almost, it's taking a whole thing of skin right off. Whoo, that's a bad one. Just realized my audio was in a bad spot, so hopefully, it didn't wreck this video. We're on a struggle bus right now. We're gonna go to another spot. It's uh, it's tough, it's tough. My hand is sore, there's a lot of blood. Well, there's a little bit of blood. Come on Clayton, don't be so dramatic. It's bad, it's so bad, there's blood everywhere. The bunk beds were a terrible idea, why did you let us do that? Just keep looking, we're gonna find something eventually. The wind's like just, it's got a perfect walleye chop, so hyper rattle might be the ticket, we'll see. Just gotta find some bigger marks. I haven't seen a, a big a big fish yet, so. I haven't seen a big fish in, in two days. Oh, poor Clayton. I haven't seen a fish in two days, a big fish in two days. You suck.
the struggle bus continues. I registered 320 inches only. Um, catching some smaller ones. Not much though. Still can't find any bigger ones. Just looking around. Trying to f find some fish. I'm thinking about possibly pulling some cranks for a bit. But also know I should probably just jump around from spot to spot. And see if we can maybe locate some bigger ones. There's a lot of fish deeper right now. Which is something you have to be really cautious of. You don't want to fish for them too deep. I'm trying to stay, you know, on, on obviously under 30 feet. This lake has a lot of deep structure and sometimes on the edges they're like, they're in 40 feet and you can't even fish for them. So those ones we're just leaving alone and we're continuing to hunt for something better. I would say I probably, I'm about a week late maybe for here, I'd say. I'm able, my timing's a little bit off. And that's how a lot of these trips can be, right? Like, so... If I was coming here right now, maybe I would focus just fully on Wakusco. I was still catching fish yesterday in 15 feet. So, it's just the way it goes. Whether I fail or I end up succeeding today, I'm going to make a video from this no matter what. Because this is the walleye tour. And not every day can be smoking, smoking guns. Here, smoking guns, blazing mirrors. Well, I'm going to pull crank for a little bit because well i'm tired of riding the struggle bus we'll try something different i'm gonna give it an hour if i don't catch anything we'll we'll try for our last two hours of the day type of thing with sharp shooting them again but we're gonna pull pull for an hour we're doing it we're pulling cranks i'm gonna hold it for a little bit and put it in the rod holder for a little bit and yeah maybe we'll just chat Hey, this will be just a chatting video. You know, I'll talk to you guys. I'll pretend like you're talking back to me. Like, hey, Clayton, this, this video sucks. Yeah, you know what? It does. It's not very good right now. I'm not going to lie. That's just the way she goes. Do you really think I could have six really good days of fishing in a row? Mm, probably not. It was almost looking like that. The funny thing was, is I think I was more excited for this lake than any other lake. But and there's no other boats on here right now. Maybe that's a sign. They know something I don't know. Clayton, don't fish here. There's no fish here. Okay, thanks. What do you guys think of the tour? The whole walleye tour? Is this something we should do again? Maybe a lake trout one? Something like that? A southern Manitoba walleye tour I know is on the agenda, possibly. What are the goods and the bads from it? I feel like a lot of it didn't maybe cover all the gear at times. They're probably longer videos for sure, too. I know they're longer. The first one was definitely longer because that one's edited and it actually goes out tonight. I stopped to check my crank for weeds because I went through a shallow area and I looked over and there was a couple decent marks. So I just dropped down on them and boom, got one of them. Not huge, but probably another 20 inch or anyway. Suspended fish too. Just hits 20 inches. Well, another 20 inch on the board on a spot that uh, <laughs> just in the middle of nowhere, basically. Suspended fish, eh? This fish was up way suspended like in 50 feet of water but up 20 feet i'm just trying some different things oh there's there goes my head camera of course right biggest fish of the day and there goes my head camera oh clayton okay come here well head camera died but we just got the biggest one of the day which is our fifth registered fish i was like you know what we're gonna try something completely different and, uh, oh, I see my live image is not recording either. Great. Two for two. Good one, Clayton. I'm set up in 50 feet of water with the rock shelf behind me. And I thought, you know what? Let's try to target some suspended fish. And that one was literally 20 feet down. Maybe they're, maybe that's the ticket. Well, tried that method for a little bit. Nothing. Didn't see any more fish. That was it. So back to cranking for a bit. I've managed to get five over 20 inches now but still nothing 
too too crazy that's for sure got 100 inches but this is shaping up to be the slowest day of the trip it's supposed to go the other way around you're supposed to start slow and then end with a bang as being a guide for so many years that's what everybody always like remembers they remember like the last like last afternoon right so if you have a last afternoon of slow fishing yet you just crushed fish for three days straight all of a sudden they remember that like yeah fishing sure was slow and it's like do you remember the first day when you got a 48 incher and a 47 like those are big pike so be be happy you know like remember that so i'm really focusing on the first part of my trip right now honestly the whole thing's been good i also managed to go now at least catching five 20 inch fish or bigger every day that's a pretty good pretty good goal on its on itself like there's areas of this lake and there's lots of other lakes i go to where i get 100 walleyes but i was going for like i'm trophy hunting there's i'm not gonna lie i love to catch big fish more than anything i love to trophy hunt so it's been enjoyable it's been really good i want to come back up here to wakusko falls and have another go at this lake if I don't if I don't pull through yet for the rest of the day. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, feels decent too. Feels decent. Not huge. But not tiny. Could be hooked funny too, right? Well, that's a good sign. We got one trolling pretty quick. We'll take the clicker off. It doesn't feel that heavy. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not even a 20 incher. But, pick one up cranking. Uncle, 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 uncle. I give. I gave her a good go. I fished a solid, hard eight hours. To be honest with you it just feels like a lot of the fish are deep right now and it's not ethical to target them when they're that deep obviously i did find some fish like up shallow but smaller smaller fish grouped up i can't say i even really marked a big fish today at all and that's just the way it goes and the funny thing is is like this lake literally known for trophy walleye but you can't win all the time i had an unbelievable tour i've got a long drive ahead of me which i'm good with and yeah i want to thank everybody that's watched this whole tour right from the start to the end if you want to see more like this leave a comment below this video obviously was a little bit shorter i'm sure i have no idea at this point i just know i got to go home and do a lot of editing i appreciate everybody for watching and as always don't forget get outside